Like he does believe that it is important that we push him and give him a weight of our work. So we really want to thank him again this year that he sponsored a new, a lot of new development for the US Code. We have a whole new team because the Guillermo Bolivia Santiago and Gisela will start to work this year. So it's pretty cool to have new people in the project. And Esteban Jorge Sanini will continue to work after three years. So it's very good for us. So that's great. So for those that you know, what you guys talk is about is the complete open source solution for the national database. It's not yet totally complete, and that's our goal, is to have a a suite of tools that where you can start most of your problem when you have to deal with relational databases. And even if we even if smart programmers are not the any programmers do not like relational databases, it is important to do business. And sometimes you have to, to connect with them. So our idea to, to be able to let people do money a business around far or squeak or any other better way diverse work. So this week as a couple of, of two projects. The, the most important one is the open device driver, which is the, the driver the driver to the database. Uh, which I will talk in a few seconds. Then you have uh, the globe port, that is we took the globe version of this one also and we want it to follow. And then we, we did the, the group between device, the driver and the globe, which is globe device. Then we got a, a, a new tool, which is um, Divex Tools, which I will explain later, but it lets you auto generate the mapping to, to do fast uh, applications. And finally, we have the Divex Module, which is also a new project, uh, which is based in, in, a, in a work from the other team, uh, which is have a, 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 a UI for, for the tool. So I will basically explain in few slides each of the projects, and then uh, the guys will do a uh, a live demo. So, the, what we call now the Open Device Driver is what was formerly known as the Script Device, for those that you know what it is. It's just the, the, the database driver. Um, to, to do this, it communicates with a, a C library which is called Open Device, which gives us a, a uniform API for all the databases. Um, so the idea of, of the problem is the following. We have a, a different databases, so for example, Oracle, MySQL, Postgres, whatever. And the idea is that they give you drivers to connect to a database, but since we are a small community, they do not do drivers for smarter. So you have to do it other, other way. If they have a, a proof protocol, you may implement the driver completely in, in the smart dog. If you just take a socket and implement the protocol, but sometimes that is more complicated than even one with large databases or even proprietary, proprietary databases like Oracle or SQL. So what we usually do is we wrap the C library of the database. The problem is that, for example, each of the databases has its own client library. And if you see, for example, the, the client library of, I don't know, Oracle, it uses n amount of functions where, for example, we have this function with this one and this one and things like that. And then, for example, if you see, the one with my secret is completely different. In fact, another library with another amount of function, and the function is completely different, the parameters are different, two libraries completely different. So what happens at the end, all the libraries of the different database are different. So if you want to create a library from Smarter, you have to create one for each of the database. So in our case, what we did is we use Open Direct, which is a, a library that already exists that did that sh that does that show for us. So what Open Direct gives us is a common API for all those libraries, so that we can just talk to Open Direct and not Open Direct will then talk accordingly to the to the database kind library that we are using. So basically, what happens is that from the image side, for example, when we do a connection connect, what happens is that we have to say the driver, okay, this is a connect, and the driver will talk through every file to, okay, sorry, I cannot see it there. You can see we talk to the open device. So for example, when you do the connect, you will send open device in the future. When you do open, you will finally call a bind. When you do 
just a simple execute, you have a lot of things that are coming. So from the inner side, it's very easy. You, you have everything simplified, is connect, execute, and get results. But to the database, it's much complicated what happens uh, in the back. So we simplify everything to follow the program, and the program is extremely easy. <coughs> then we did the Glorp port, and um, the version of Glorp that works with Power and Squid is like maybe five years old, uh, so it was very difficult to maintain it. So the new team, from the Guillermo Polito, took the latest version from VisualBox and ported to, to Fire. Uh, very cool, because we have four backends already working, we have MySQL, Postgres, PowerShell, and SQLite. It's working in the latest version of Glob. So that is, is very cool. And even more, uh, we really want to thank uh, Alain Knight, the developer of VisualBox, of Glob, because he was very kind with us, and in fact, we have to do a lot of changes to block for the port. And once we did the port, it took, it did a file out from far off. He imported in visual box. He did a div to see what we need to change. And so we will try to integrate as much of our changes as possible in the main plan of, of, of block so that the next port will be even easier. So it's pretty, it's a very nice uh, attitude from this side. Uh, yeah, thanks visual box for doing that. And at the same time, we had to the point that the guy that did the port of Lord maybe four or five years ago, he was not documented how to do it. So what we want, so we try to do it, document as much as possible, so that then we can port every one year or something like that, we can easily port it uh, again. And then we did uh, the Glob device, which is it's very easy. It's just a, a subclass, uh, which is a Glob driver that maps with the uh, open device. So this is what we call Glob device. Um, then after we got this new project, which is DevX Tools, but it's not completely clear uh, we start really doing and we I'm not completely sure how it's it you do. Maybe we will have much more things. But for for this moment, the idea is what is called a scaffolding, which is in, in, in Google they use the same or even it's not a scaffolding block. Well, the idea is that we can, for example, read the metadata from the database and automatically generate my grid descriptions and then can generate block descriptions and then you can even maybe create the one in this and for example using the my grid description. So the idea is that do not spend time doing mappings and then you just follow certain code conventions you can auto generate the mappings which is the task that nobody likes when you come to deal with an OLM generation of mapping is the worst task to do all the mappings. So that's what we're trying to, to achieve. That if you have to do something with a relational database, you can do it quickly. You don't need to spend weeks doing the mapping between the tables and your domain classes. Um, the second new project is the DBX browser. And we took this work from uh, a project that was called uh, a Squid Light. I know if these people from the, I think it was from the HPI Institute. It was a, a, a team that did for, for the university. Uh, we took it, uh, we went through it. But we did a why, where we can query the database, we can see the table, we can ask rows and inspect the rows. It's like what you usually do with a uh, SQL plus or, or my, or my SQL browser, where you, but instead of going to another chicken, you can, my, you can keep being in the image. You, can, you don't need to leave out from the image. And we also plan to do some, um, we can also plan to do from that they walk, why you can edit the mappings what, that we create automatically from the database. So you, you need to customize or change something you can do it from a why. <coughs> and this is a, a, a screenshot of what the tool looks like nowadays. And you can query and see the, the rows, you can see the tail. And, and, um, but this will be probably changed to, to Mondial or, or, or Glamour in the future. So, another thing that we did, we took our, the, all the documentation that was in the website, it was uh, pretty good, and we started to put it in a kind of uh, firm example chapter, so Guillermo was working on that, so it's uh, available in the website, and soon we will do another one for Glamour. So the, the, the other day I 
cœur très ouverture à Dieu, ça il a des droits de toujours un bon ressentiment pour l'autre, so maybe we can work together and reduce the desertion. Uh, so what we did so far this year, it, uh, it, two days ago, we released the first version of, of Open Device Driver. It's the first version with this name because this was pre-released with the device. So this is the new version with the new name and it has new repositories and we changed a couple of things, but not that much. Uh, again, this is working already with a lot of databases. My SQL, Progress, Oracle, SQL, Fiverr, uh, Fiverr, all the most common databases except DB2, I think. Uh, so it is working in most of the operation system as well. So the clock port, the, the clock port, the, the, the clock version of the port of this, this one, 7719, which is quite new, the one that came with this remote 7719. Uh, so for clock events, we didn't release it because we are still fixing the last bug, but it's already working with uh, MySQL, Oracle, Postman, and SQLite. So it's pretty cool because so far, in the speed of fire, the only option with clock was usually the Postman. So this way we can use log with similar databases. And finally, okay, we will continue to work with diverse tools and diverse content. We, we will have to achieve the, the thing that we have in mind. For the future goal, uh, basically, we are not sure, uh, for sure we want to continue with this new two version and with the diverse goals we will continue to the moon, or at least we will give it a try. Uh, more backends to grow DBS, we are working with uh, SQL Server, but we are finding some bugs, but we will, we will fix it soon. Uh, we, we need to create a new website because the, 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 host, the website from SQL Direct is a little bit messy and documentation is mixed everywhere. And, and now we, the version has been renamed, so we need to, to do everything again. And the two last things that Maybe we do is Jokanis Moreira, he needs to connect to a relational database from within uh, GLAS. And uh, GLAS now supports uh, every file to try every file in GLAS. Sorry. And he tried GLAS, he tried every file in GLAS and it was working out of the box. So porting and uh, US uh, open device driver to Shenzhen should be very easy. So he will try to do it. And finally, we may import the, the, the new package of Glob, the, the, the active record uh, part of, of Glob, which more or less the same idea of creating it to, to how to generate the, the mapping. So we may be able to support that as well. So, I will, start, I will stop working <coughs> and we will see a, a demo of some of the tools. Okay, let me see if I can use this. Uh, yes, uh, it's extremely complicated because uh, we are in a Mac which has the keyword in French, and we will load a virtual box that runs Linux with the distribution keyword in Spanish, with the order that is running, and the control is not very easy in the map, so it will be complicated. So, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, we, we have five minutes, so we have reverse some, some samples uh, to show you the there are some, some of them are, are really basic, uh, actually the first one is the, the OpenDH driver. The, we have made some structure, structural changes to the driver to, to change the patch and things like that. So it's, uh, it's good to know that it's uh, still working. Uh, uh, well, what we, what we shall do here is to create a connection. Uh, yeah. We create connection and we create a table, insert things into it, and then we 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 query we query the table and we draw the table and it's everything working. We can actually then we inspect the, the row. So for example, we can do this, and here we have the row. Uh, database 
row in DBX, you have a string representation of the, of the elements in the row. So for example, you have a one here, which is a string. But we know that it is, it is in there, so we can ask it for the real the, the values converted to, to objects, to, to small objects. So we can uh, ask the row for its values. And here, the one is, is, a, is an, an inter and a small inter instead of a string. Uh, so it's all working uh, the same as before. Uh, the four samples are, uh, are for order to postulate and uh, equal to that. Um, well, uh, we have them in as documentation in the in the new repository. So you can access them. Well, the only thing that the only thing that changed between the example you just described yeah. is the, the, the connection where you said uh, yeah. here where you put the login you want to use and the the connection information. But nevertheless Open web does not do a square conversion. So you need to write this square in a way that the database understands. So because of this, do not have overhead in parsing a square and validation. So as uh, exactly as you write, that goes to the database. So there is no conversion, and that's important. Yes, actually, that's kind of, uh, kind of uh, advantage because uh, you can use the, the special features uh, of each uh, engine. So, well, uh, we can go see the, some blur, blur samples. They, they are just like uh, what, we sh what we are showing here with the, the blur example is weak. Okay. Uh, well, uh, with blur, what we do is. Uh, Actually, the four examples are the same. We just, uh, as the example of before, uh, we just change the, the way we log into the database. We change the, uh, the connection string, and then the, the other code is just the same for the four backends. So it's, uh, uh, it, it works the same way. That's the advantage of using Google uh, Glor. Um, and well. What we are doing here is uh, we create a, we connect to the database, we create some tables, insert them in some data, and we after resetting the session here uh, in here, so it loses all the instances we just created. Uh, we read many uh, we read uh, many objects from the database. Uh, Actually, if you look at this, uh, we have to force the. Since we are here and look, uh, doing the logout uh, from the database, we here are forcing the blur to, to load the, the object from the proxy. So if we don't do this, uh, the, the proxy just, uh, doesn't load the object, and this way we know the proxy is working because we add this and we wrote the examples yesterday. Uh, so, we, uh, actually here we have a, a simple model, we have a, a teacher and course, and a course has a teacher, and we, we have for all the courses in the, in the database, and then we can see. And we can inspect the, the course with comfort and with comma. Uh, and it, uh, it has uh, it brought the feature. And so actually, work, blur is working. It, it matches with the relation to proxy. And we have some legal issues, but uh, we have no, uh, no more than 15 uh, red tests in the 700 that we have, so it's uh, a very little number of tests that are pending. Uh, is that, um, you know, for, for those who are well unlikely and have to work with more um, IMA or things like that, uh, if you remember, you usually need to do the HBM file or the annotation where you map. So, growth is not deception, so 
diffusion. Those, those diffusion are designed that you can use after for a system, for example. So whatever you describe in your object, in the grid for C site, you can start not from scratch, but you take from this one. So you you already get got the, the map to the Actually, this example is, is already working with uh, with Lamour and Magri. So we took Lamour and put it work on Lamour and got pretty straightforward. And the destination of the road mapping is here. This clip make a uh, Witcher DS class. Inherit or uh, delete the people system, uh, which is the uh, old subclass of the people system from um, GLOS. That we have also the other class. We can add classes and generate. So we are generating all the, all from the Magri descriptions. We are generating all the uh, all the globe the, the definitions. All the globe definitions. Actually, there are a lot of definitions, and we put the they are actually generated. And, and well, uh, that's not the only the only good thing we can do with the example, with the descriptions. We can also, for example, uh, from the same description, uh, we have a, a browser uh, that here that's working with the same description. So, uh, actually, we didn't do anything. Uh, anything we shall use the uh, uh, crop the the glamour example uh, and it on my beat. So with the, with the forms. Yes. With, with the deep DS browser what we would like to do after is an integration with this. So you can read the descriptions of my and be able to read them. So because the idea is that you, we all know that all this how the generated copy level was all the time. But the idea is that at least you may be able to sell 80% or 70% of the time and then you just customize or edit whatever you need to specify. So our goal is maybe not to be perfectly completely out of the this. If you have this system, maybe you can get 70 or 60% automatically done, done and then just add up what is this So here, for example, uh, actually the we are, we are not the only folks out there who make use of marine uh, information. So, form, in the moment, we have to validate the types we can have uh, 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 Actually, uh, the other the other two we have is the browser, but we we are porting it to Glamour right now, and okay. it's not uh, still a stable, <laughs> uh, and I don't think we have it loaded in the uh, machine. But well, that's the state of the art right now. Uh,
not that easy. So because if someone is influential, then you know, 